Fascinating. Hello and welcome to Event Tick, Friend or Foe. Now, whenever we go into a new actor blueprint, we are met with three nodes that are in situ that are disabled. Now, I've um, selected the event tick and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Now, when we look at the default settings for this actor blueprint, we can see that start with tick enabled is checked. So if you're not gonna use the tick, make sure you switch that off. Um, so it's not trying to calculate anything on a per frame basis. So you can absolutely do that. If you're not using tick and you leave the node um, enabled, but not plugged in, it will still try to tick as well. Not when you've switched that off, but if, for example, that's left on and you deleted the tick, then it won't tick. So they're kind of immediate things just in terms of housekeeping. But there's other controls as well. You know, sometimes people say, well, you should use timers over ticks, but you do have control over the tick as well. Here, the tick interval is set to zero, zero. So that's every frame. So depending on your GPU, you know, potentially that could be hundreds of times a second, which you definitely don't need. So, you know, perhaps if I set this to 0.1, now that's going to be 10 times a second. So depending on what I'm wanting to kind of repeat, it's going to be much more performant doing it at once uh, 10 times a second rather than 200 times a second. Other things related to uh, tick are you also have a lot of kind of node control over the tick itself. So on a per active basis, so you can absolutely use nodes to enable and disable whether the tick is running. Um, you might decide that your actor is in the world and it's too far away from you, so it doesn't need to tick until you get within a certain proximity of it because you're relying then on the tick to, to um, form a particular action. And again, dynamically, you can affect the tick interval. So zero, zero uh, is on every frame, but you might only need that when you're right close up to the actor, just for sort of a, a sort of smooth interaction. But you can also affect the tick uh, enabled, disabled on a component by component basis. So you don't even necessarily need to tick the whole actor. So really uh, think about what you're needing to tick at all and use these controls to kind of minimize the impact of the tick. But you can also make decisions around different conditions. So you can ask whether or not an actor is ticking or not ticking and then set up certain rules around that similarly to the component. So really, really uh, powerful controls over the tick itself. Now there are certain things to absolutely avoid on tick and these are kind of big, big, powerful um, functions, really. So get actor on class. You might, most certainly don't want to do that on tick. Similarly with get all actors of class. You know, if you've got a big map with 200 actors in, it's going to try and reference those 200 actors potentially up to 200 times a second. So you know, 40,000 instructions. So crazy, crazy numbers. And for loops, you definitely, or any of the loop family, definitely want to avoid using those on event tick. So we'll go into timers as well in a separate video, but I hope that was of use. Live long and prosper.